It's a household name trusted by millions of Australians. But what we didn't know for nine years was that the fresh food people were underpaying their workers. The people that like, are responsible for this, like the ones at the top, that created all this and weren't doing their job. Someone wasn't doing their job and getting paid a lot of money to do it. <laughs> what we have are crocodile tears from an employer that has underpaid workers $300 million. Among them was 48-year-old Nadine Smith, who was a loyal Woolworths manager in Ipswich, Queensland for seven years. And they say if you enjoy your job, you don't work a day in your life. <laughs> and I still got lots of friends there and I still talk to them, so that's great. But one day, she was surprised to find out her workmates were working fewer hours but earning much more than her. I did question my salary only in the last couple of years because of a team member below me being on the same salary. Sometimes you can be there for 12 hours in one day, so but you just do it because <laughs> you're required to. <laughs> so you just work, you get paid, and you would hope to get paid, well, expect to get paid the right amount. There's no excuses in these situations and an unreserved apology. Do I see this as my number one issue? Yes. 5,700 current and former managers in the sections such as the bakery, the butchery and the deli are affected. It's on average $50,000 for these 5,500 workers. They were on individual non-union contracts, but for nine years they weren't being paid overtime or penalties for the hours they worked. I've been a single mum for the last 13 years, so um, that just would have made a huge difference. Two Woolworths managers took their case to the company earlier this year, but it wasn't until late August that Woolworths alerted the Fair Work Ombudsman. The company chose this week to own up. Chief Executive Brad Banducci emerged from Woolworths headquarters in Sydney yesterday, delivering what's become a familiar tune for corporate Australia. Thank you. Uh, all I can say is we unreservedly apologise to all of the team members impacted. This is not the standard we have Woolworths hold ourselves to. One of the unions representing Woolworths workers was preparing a class action lawsuit before this week's announcement. Woolworths supermarkets beat us to the punch. It involves a moral blindness and, and it's something that should not be acceptable by anyone in the Australian community. It's far, far past time for a Royal Commission into wage theft. So it is a very complex analysis that we've uh, had to do. Woolworths denies it's reacting to possible litigation. Nothing could be further from the truth. It's an all too familiar story for Australian workers who have been shortchanged by numerous companies to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. The brands include the restaurants of celebrity chefs George Calambaris and Neil Perry, Bunnings, 7 Eleven, Subway, Michael Hill Jewelers, Wes Farmers, and even the ABC. The underpayment by Woolworths may be much wider too, with the company analysing the payroll of its other brands, Big W, BWS and Dan Murphy's. So what we're seeing is that wage theft or underpayment, however you want to turn it, is becoming business as usual. So companies, um, but I would also say probably their auditors and lawyers, are becoming complacent about compliance with this issue. So who, who takes responsibility for the underpayments? I mean, you as CEO, oh, absolutely. Uh, what about your executives? I mean, will, will they forego their bonuses as a result of this? Look, uh, there's no question we as an executive team take full accountability, as the board knows. Would you take a pay cut because of this underpayment? I expect the consequences to be discussed in my regard. So why shouldn't you resign over this? I'll work through that with the board. That's not the focus of today. The focus of today is to fix the issue. We believe there needs to be fundamental action by the federal government, and that involves uh, criminal sanctions for wage thieves and also significant penalties to make sure that every worker gets every cent that they're owed. Woolworths has promised to start paying back its staff by Christmas. The scary thing is with all of this coming out, it's how did it go so wrong? And for nine years, that's what has surprised me.
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.